सो हेलो एवरी वन थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो दिस वीडियो विल टेल यू एवरी थिंग यू नीड टू नो अबाउट कोसो फ्रेमवर्क सो इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर सम इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन कोसो एंड टू एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन कोसो और मे बी हैव एन इंटरव्यू कमिंग वेयर कोसो माइट बी वन ऑफ द टॉपिक्स दिस इज द वीडियो फॉर यू टू बिगिन विद लेट आर स्टार्ट विद वॉट कोसो स्टैंड फॉर इन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी टू the committee of sponsoring organizations of the tradeway commission that is coso developed a model for evaluating internal controls now this model has been adopted as the generally accepted framework for internal controls and is widely recognized as the definitive standard against which organizations measure the effectiveness of their systems and internal control now coso defines internal control as a process affected by the entity's board of directors management and other personnel designed to provide reasonable assurance regarding the achievement of objectives relating to operations reporting and compliance that is three things operations reporting and compliance now this definition reveals five concepts regarding the internal controls number 1 it establishes that coso is a process not a destination number 2 it helps organizations to achieve objectives now again what are the objectives operational objectives reporting objectives and compliance objectives number 3 it is the people of the organization who put them into effect number 4 they can provide only a reasonable assurance but not absolute assurance to senior management and the board regarding effectiveness and efficiency of operations reliability of reporting and number 3 compliance with applicable laws and regulations coming to point number 5 we can say that they can these concepts can be can be adopted to the entity structure they can be applied entity wide or to one or more subsidiaries divisions operating units or business processes let us discuss about a brief history of the coso framework originally the committee of sponsoring organizations or as we say coso was organized in 1985 to sponsor NCFR now NCFR is National Commission on Fraudulent Reporting its member organizations were the American Accounting Association that is AAA American Institute of Certified Public Accountants that is AICPA Financial Executives International that is FEI Institute of Management Accountants that is IMA and Institute of Internal Auditors that is III Now it would be 20 years uh, you know next year before uh, you know there is an update to the framework of COSO Let's discuss five main elements of COSO Number 1 control environment number 2 risk assessment number 3 control activities number 4 information and communication number 5 monitoring activities now each component include principles there are 17 principles in all the first component out of the five components is control environment The control environment is a set of standards, processes and structures that form internal control. A control environment demonstrates the commitment of the organization to their integrity and ethical values. It ensures that board exercises an oversight responsibility, establishes structure, reporting lines and authorities that are responsible for ensuring that control is there. demonstrates commitment to a competent workforce and holds people accountable the next component is risk assessment 
It forms the basis for which risk is managed in both internal and external environments. Its components include specific appropriate objectives that help identify and analyze risk and evaluate fraudulent risk in an organization. It also helps to identify and analyze changes that could significantly affect the internal controls. Now, the third component is control activities. Control activities are the preventive and detective policies, procedures, and standards that aid management in mitigating risk. It helps develop and control activities that mitigate risk and develop technology controls. It also helps deploy control activities through policies and procedures. The fourth component is information and communication. Information and communication relates to information gained that can support internal control components. It uses relevant quality information to support the internal control functions and communicate internal control information both internally as well as externally. The last component is called monitoring. Monitoring of activities include consistent evaluations, verifying that each of the five components of internal control are present and are working correctly. It performs an ongoing or periodic evaluation of in internal controls that helps in communication of internal control deficiencies. Now, all the five components make up one face of the COSO cube. COSO cube is nothing but a three-dimensional framework defining internal controls from various perspectives. This cube is made up of a number of columns and rows that visualize internal control systems as columns, rows and a third dimension known as organizational structure. Columns of the cube make up of three objectives as I discussed with you before that is operations, reporting and compliance. The rows in the cube are five components that we have discussed before uh, that is control environment, risk assessment, control activities, information and communication and monit monitoring of activities. Okay, now the third dimension is the organization structure which has parameters such as entity level, division, operating unit and function which just means that all these control environment uh, you know these five components such as control environment to monitoring activities can be applied to even an entire organization or maybe just a division a function a operating unit or at a very huge entity level as well and everything that we have been doing helps in performing various operations providing correct reporting and adhering to the compliance rules and regulations now coming to the last uh, topic for this video that is helix coso what is helix coso now helix coso is the framework that is a framework of coso itself that was updated in the year 2017 with a name changed to enterprise risk management which now is also known as Helix Coso. Helix Coso integrates enterprise risk management with strategy and performance. The update focuses on ERM that is enterprise risk management and more heavily consider the risk in process and performance management. Along with the update, the graphic has changed from a cube as we discussed before to a helical structure called as Helix Coso. Now this helix shaped graphic for the Coso ERM framework represents how a risk management principle is integrated through an organiza organization's life cycle. Now, the helix is based on five components, each supported by multiple principles. The five components as shown in the helical structure are number one, governance and culture, which establish the oversight for a enterprise risk management that is ERM. Number two, strategy and objective setting, which from a strategic 
planning perspectives shows what are the controls that need to be implemented number 3 performance it identifies risk that affect strategic planning process it also includes a way to highlight and respond to critical uh, issues concerning an organization point number 4 is review and revision which actually focuses on reviewing the organization performance to determine how erm components are functioning and if any changes should be made the fifth point and the last point is information communication and reporting which actually focuses on gathering and sharing information as necessary typically for internal and external sources now there are 20 principles that support these five components and tell us how an organization should manage risk and their business uh, objectives so that's all for course of framework i hope this video was informational to you and i hope you liked it if you like this video please help me uh, you know get motivated and show me some love by subscribing and live uh, to my channel and liking this video thank you